ya inam wa It always started when uh, Dad decided to take his uh, father's Kurafale um, um, chief title. So uh, he wanted to give over his current one, which is a Fayumu. And apparently when I was 10, I asked Dad whether I could buy a chief title, where there could be a chief. And uh, so apparently that was in the back of his mind this whole time. So now that he was in a place where he could give over the title, um, he asked me if I wanted to, to, to take it. And so I said yes. So uh, there's going to be a big event where Dad's going to get his um, title Ooyao and I will take Dad's uh, Fayumu title. <laughs> To be a chief, I suppose, you know, comes with responsibilities, but then we also know some people who don't take those responsibilities seriously. So I had like chats with mum and dad and and, and said, you know, what, what does this mean? And and basically they just told me it means just to open your ears, shut up, be the first to jump up uh, um, and do things. And, um, you know, it was explained to me that, you know, to be a chief is not just to sit up on a perch and just be, you know, just lorded over everybody, but it's also, uh, it's a life of service and it's about, um, being able to give to your ainga and your and your village, so um, I guess I'll learn all about that uh, as I go along. There were there were three parts actually. The other there was a first part where the Matai was saying about the our ava, your ava, our side's ava to contribute to the ceremony. Those little ava, so he gave, and then he called for the gathering of all the avas from the village, this village, and then he would summon the rest of Samoa, any, who, other, who, who, any other chief who is here, who, and usually he would. People don't 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 need to be reminded of that. They know the, the, that that's the time, and everybody jumped in. Everybody jumped in case they get messed out and, mm-hmm. and don't don't pick up their point of. Uh, Whatever, of wherever they come from. So at the end of that, all the Ava then is taken across to the, to the family, and the village then would actually declare uh, that this is the Ava from here who they recognize. Yeah. And after after acknowledging the reception of the Ava, then they will disperse the Ava according to the title people. And then the first thing that he would say before he disperses that is to disperse a portion of this Ava to be crushed for the drinking ceremony. Mm. Now, we know that because the moment that this person would go into the dispersing activity or mode, somebody somewhere in the house, usually the one who speaks, would say, uh, meaning, go ahead with the rest of your dispersion, the tanoa is already attended to. For the Laua, the, 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 the Tula Fale or the Fale Polu will do a Fatau. And the Fatau, uh, the word Fatau uh, is, is, I mean, the, the, the word that I often, when you go, or if I Fatau, that means go shopping. Uh, and we often use the English word to kind of make fun of this activity of this Fatau. But Fatau, Fakatau, is actually to go into war. War of who is going to win. Uh, the speaking rights to actually speak for these occasions. And the title or the main orators of the village will actually have a fatau. And they will run down the other person in a kind of a battle of speeches. That's what it means. Fa'atau. Bring your knowledge and let, let fa'atau with me. <laughs> Every village, there are those who will actually raise the fatah. No, not every titled person will raise the fatah. He will be shut down. And in, the, in in our village here, there are also two or three main, three or four main people that will raise the fatah. One that spoke today, 
the other that spoke here, different title, uh, and then of course the title for Yumu, who is often uh, so. There's three or four of them that will actually do the fatau. The rest won't. They don't jump into that. It's a different sea. So, mm-hmm. but the people who are here know who's going to speak. If you try to speak out of line, you will be actually corrected right there and then. And so they, yeah. And all the other important titles that come from the district, from around the place, they know they can speak, but they also know that this is a this is a top, this particular part of land, and they treat it with with respect. Every now and again, or which is rare, the, the orator from here will give over the opportunity or the respect for somebody outside. Uh, that, that really happens, but it does happen. <laughs> Bestowing of the title for you and what they call in Samoan Olefa'awi Ole Ula. And Ula is this, uh, this is also the Ula. Fa'awi Ole Ula is the passing on of the Ula to you, from the old to the new, from the dead to the son. And it brings forth the idea that the dead is pleased with the son's service. For the elites, or for that, they would always have an open hand. They serve the other with an open hand, never with a backhand. But for the title people, like for Yumu and Oyao and uh, orators of the village, they serve it with the with the backhand. They give the other to the high chiefs, and the mainly the high chiefs. The high chiefs. This is not the speaking chief, uh, and you would recognize them because they sit at the they sit on this side of the valley. You notice this is the uh, typical. This is the Tala or valley where Ainga sit. When the first lot came here for the Oyao title, all the Aingas were sitting on that side. All the orators and, and, and others who were sitting at the front here with, with us. And all the untitled will sit at the back. Some of the titled women sit in the back because there's no room, but because they are part of the family and they do some other work. Right. So, um, yeah, but, but, but everyone knows that in the corner of the Tala of the Fale, it's for the Ali'i, for the Ayin. And this particular village have five Ali'is that they recognize. And so when you take the Ava, like I'd ask you to say something, um, I didn't give you a full speech, but the gist of what you were saying is uh, when you pour a bit of drink on the ground, uh, in the olden days, the, the, the Samoans would say that is God's drink, like cheers to God. But in and through that activity, they would be saying, here is the other, O oh God. Now we ask your blessings on this occasion. Uh, I, I, again, when you, uh, I ask you to say thank you for the calling. That means you regard or we regard the Matai title as a calling. It is not something that you just get up and do. It's only when actually you are summoned or you are nudged or you are, or the family have said, I think Fastua will make a good title person, Matai, because of his life of service. It's out of that kind of life. Uh, in Samoa we say, the way to the top or the way to authority or the way to becoming a chief is through service. Concluding with the giving of some koha or gifts through uh, monetary values, acknowledging the high chiefs, the orator chiefs, uh, as well as those who took part in the ceremony, the other ceremony like the Aumanga or the Taulilea that did the Ava, and they were also fallen Ava. And so when we disperse our koha or our gifting back to them in acknowledgement of that, here's uh, each one. I did well. I think, yeah, like I said to them, I think the, the main thing is that he is here. It's the presence that is actually the key thing in all of these things. Whatever he says and does is secondary to the fact that you're here. And the fact that you're here 
is a blessing because the village can see you. Uh, there were other titles amongst our old young titles that were not present, but their kin and family kind of drank their other instead, what we call tapalip. Um, that means they are drinking on their behalf, but they are elsewhere. Uh, that's acceptable as well, but but the essence of being here on the dot, right on the spot, and, and he did well by simply being calm, it just even though he probably doesn't quite know what the heck is going on half the time, but but I believe that he was raised up in such a way that there are certain things they may not know, but respect enough to be still and to be attentive to that and to be open to what comes next. So I think he did well, very well. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.